Hello everyone! My name is Pris from Pris Peruses and welcome to another video! Today I am bringing you my November TBR. As you can see I'm doing things a little bit differently for November. I am not playing my game and that is because I just want to mood read. I want to pick up what I am in the mood for and I just don't want restrictions this month. So I am not playing the game, I will bring it back. I might do mood read November and December and bring the, back, bring the game back for the new year. We will see how it goes. Um, I have some books that I do want to talk about to you. I have made some piles. I have books for readathons, books that I need to read for book clubs, etc. And I have some books that I do want to get to this month. Before I get into those, I would like to address the readathons I am participating in this month. First up, we have Once Upon a Readathon created by Hannah. I will leave the announcement video linked down below in the description. I am a co-host of Team Witches and I'm very excited for this readathon. It's going to be so much fun. So go and do check that out in the description. I'm going to try and fit the books that I'm already reading into the prompts as I go. Um, that's the way to go for me so I can definitely do some mood reading so I will make it work with the prompts it's all gonna be fine and the promise the premise is that we're gonna go apple picking we are picking an apple from the tree and yeah I'm hoping I can read many a book and that team witches is gonna win because we need to win I'm competitive we need to win then I would also like to participate in the final book support group week which is a readathon slash book thing created by Steph over at Steph Loves to um, get us through those series and I'm gonna make a separate vlog for that I'm gonna be starting and finishing a series as I always do for Final Book Support Group. Those are the plans for November. Let's dive into some books. All right, so first up, I'm gonna address the book that I don't currently own yet, and that is Stellar Loon. I will put a picture up here. It's the new book in the Keeper of the Lost City series. I am so excited for this. I cannot wait to get my hands on it and read it. It's gonna be fantastic. It's book 9 in the Keeper of the Lost City series. I am doing a keep along for it together with Sasha from The Wild Sasha. We've been reading all the books. And in November the new book Stella Loon comes out. The cover is gorgeous as you can see. And I cannot wait to read this book. It's gonna be a no doubt fantastic. I love this series, you all know this. Um, so yeah, that's the first book that I need to read in the month of November. Next up we have Scander and the Unicorn Thief. I picked this up whilst I was a Yalk and it actually won my poll for the Patreon bi-monthly book club. So I need to read this in November. That's gonna be a live show at the end of November for this. And I've been hearing nothing but amazing things about this book. So I am very excited. The cover looks already promising. It kind of reminds me a little bit of Percy Jackson in a way. I don't know if that's correct because I have not read it. But the Patreons who have already read this, they are saying that I am absolutely gonna love this and it's fantastic and so, so cool. So I am very excited to be reading this. Um, the island is calling Skander Smith only ever wanted to be a unicorn rider. To be one of the lucky few selected to hatch a unicorn, to bond with it for life, to train together and race for glory, to be a hero. But just as Skander's dream is about to come true, things take a more dangerous turn than he could have ever imagined. A dark and twisted enemy has stole the Iceland's most powerful unicorn. And as threats grow even closer, Skandar discovers a secret that could blow his heart, his world, forever. Sounds really good. It has unicorns in it. Like, of course it's gonna be good, you know. Um, so I am really, really excited to be picking this one up and chat to it with patreons it's gonna be fantastic then the next book that i need to be reading in the month of november is the city of fallen angels this is also a patreon thing we are doing shadow along and we've been reading all the shadow hunter books in publication order 
and November is the turn for City of Fallen Angels. I have been kind of having a love-hate relationship with these books. Sometimes I do quite enjoy them. I really like City of Glass. I think that's the most uh, promising book so far. So I'm hoping because this picks up after City of Glass. Um, I'm hoping that I will enjoy this again. However, I do not care for Clary and Jace all that much and they are the main people in the this series, so we'll see how it goes. But um, yeah, a little bit of a love-hate relationship. It's not like the best series ever, but I've been wanting to pick this up for such a long time and it's been fun doing it with the Patreons. We are gonna continue that in November with City of Fallen Angels, so I'm gonna pick this one up. Then for the final book support group, I wanted to start and finish a series as I always do for um, the final book support group. And we have a week, so I could go for like a little bit of a bigger series, but I'm, I'm, I'm keeping it cool this time. I'm not gonna go all out super crazy. Uh, there is a series that I've been meaning to read for the longest time. I'm so excited. The final book just came out so I can binge all three of them. And that is The Inheritance Games, The Haunts on Legacy, and The Final Gambit. I am so excited to be reading these back to back. It's gonna be fantastic. I'm going in fairly blindly. I do not have any knowledge whatsoever what this is about. I know there is money involved, plotting, scheming. They must enter like a competition of some sort. I think I could be wrong. Um, I know India from what India read absolutely loves these books. So I saw them on her channel. I was like, I'm very interested about this. It kind of also reminds me a little bit of the Hunger Games, but I don't know for sure if that's really the case. I'm getting Hunger Games vibes with it though. Maybe they don't have to kill each other, but... Well, it says a billion dollar fortune to die for, so maybe they do need to kill each other? I don't know. We shall see, but I'm gonna be reading these uh, back to back during the final book support group week. I will make a vlog for it and I'm just, I'm really excited. This is gonna be, this is gonna be a thing. It's gonna be good. She came from nothing. Avery has a plan. Keep her head down. Work hard for a better future. And then an eccentric billionaire dies, leaving her almost his entire fortune. Lily. Li Lily. And no one, least of all Avery, knows why. They had everything. Now she must move into the mansion she inherited. It's filled with secrets and codes and an old man surviving relatives in hell. A family hell-bent on discovery why Avery got their money. Now there's only one rule. Winner takes all. Soon she is caught in a deadly game that everyone in this strange family is playing. But just how far will they go to keep their fortune? See, it does sound really like the Hunger Games, but then for money. Um, I am really excited to pick these up. I think they're going to be such quick, fast-paced, really intriguing reads. And yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a special vlog for this. Now, we have some books that I would like to get to. And I have a special project that I also want to finally be starting in november because i've just got so little time and so many books to read i am doing my big fat greek reading vlog and i'm reading a bunch of greek retellings in order for this vlog i have 10 books in total but i wanted to show you three of them that i'm hoping to get to in um the month of november maybe i will do more maybe i will swap them out for other ones i i just don't know yet i'm also doing a greek weekend with the patreons the first weekend of november we are doing a greek weekend together and we're gonna read greek retellings together and have sprints we're gonna watch hercules it's gonna be just a really fun fun time if you do want to check out my patreon i will leave a link down below um, you can check out the November calendar. It's available for everyone to see. 
and you can see if you maybe want to sign up for it so about those greek retellings first up the one that has probably been on my tbr the longest and that is circe by madeline miller i absolutely love this cover all the foil oh my gosh this is about the the greek goddess uh circe i do not know anything about this I've been hearing uh, really good things about this book, about this story. So I am just really excited to finally get my hands on this and read it. As I said, it has been on the TBR for a very, very long time. I just had to include this for the Greek retelling. Now, for the second book, it's probably the book I'm most excited about. And that is Stone Cold by Natalie Haynes. Natalie Haynes has a lot of Greek retellings. You will see more books of her in the Greek reading vlog because I have more books of her that I would really get my hands on and read. However, I am most excited about this one because this is Medusa's story. And I recently got a little bit like obsessed with Medusa. I read this really great uh, book about Medusa, about her story, about what Poseidon and uh, Athena did to her. And I was absolutely shocked because there's so much more to Medusa than the death glare, than her head full of snakes. So I am so interested to see um, about this story and how this will all unfold and to learn more, more about Medusa as a person. So I am very excited to get my hands onto this. The cover is also beautiful and I am just so excited to pick this up. Then the last book that I want to talk about for the month of November is Piranesi by Susanna Clark. This is also a Greek retelling. Oh, I now see that it is blurbed by Aaron Morganston. That is absolutely fantastic. These end papers are super, super pretty. Um, I'm also going into this fairly blindly. And can we... What is this? This is just like a printed sticker on the cover and I fucking hate it. It's just... No. Just, it ruins the vibe of the whole cover. This naked hardcover though is absolutely beautiful. Let me see. You have Pira, Nessie all over the book. It's absolutely stunning. So I'm going in fairly blindly again. I, I tend to do that with all these Greek uh, retellings because I have some knowledge of Greek mythology, but not like a lot. Yeah, I'm just really excited to start this reading vlog with the Greek retellings. And I'm hoping I can get my hands on this one and read it in the month of November. There you have it. Those are all the books that I hope to get my hands on in the month of November. Are you participating in any readathons? What are your plans for November? What are you gonna read? What is the book that you are most excited about? Out to read in November please let me know down below in the comments because I would love to know that was it for today if you have enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already I am gonna leave you for now but I will hopefully be back soon with another video bye bye